Want to know how to make explosions in stop motion animation? You've come to the right place. Welcome to the Media Channel. Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. Host you. Thank you. Yeah, some time ago, I put out a video on YouTube, and it had a little example of stop-motion animation on it. It was a little film I made with my grandchildren, and um, it involved a wooden train crashing into a wooden bridge and producing a big explosion. Well, this little disaster movie didn't go unnoticed. Oh, no. And I since had a message from Kid Cypher, and he said, do you think you could show me exactly how you made that explosion? Well, yes. Yes, yes I can. First, create your stop motion film. This is easily done with a still digital camera. Just move your toys or models slightly between each photo taken, and this will build up your animation frame by frame. You can check how your animation will play by opening the photo folder in Windows Picture Viewer and clicking through the sequence one by one. There you go. Happy with that? OK, then let's add the explosion. As the animation is composed of still photos, it is a simple matter to literally paint the explosions and smoke onto each frame individually. So find the frame in which you want the explosion to begin and open it in a paint or photo retouching program. I'm using PaintShop Pro. I used the spray tool effect to create the impression of an explosion at the corner of the railway bridge. I then used the Lightener tool to highlight the areas that would be lit by the flash. And when you have finished with this image, then move on to the next frame, and chart the progress of the explosion frame by frame. It's a good idea to keep the previous frame open whilst working on the current frame, as this gives you a reference to the progress of the blast. Work on each frame, adding the steam, then smoke, and then have the smoke finally disperse into nothing for the final frame. When all your photos have been modified, import them into Windows Movie Maker, or any other editor. Select all the images, and drag them to the timeline. When they have loaded, click the Zoom Timeline button up to maximum. You will see the timeline images stretch to a much longer length. This will allow you to work at a much greater detail. Click on the first image and grabbing the right hand edge of the image, trim the length to about 0.24 of a second. Continue in this fashion with every image. And you will end up with a nice compact clip like this. When you click play, it will run as an animation, complete with explosions and smoke. All you need now is some sound effects to complete the illusion. So there you go. So why not have a go at making your own disaster movie? All you need is a stills camera and some toys. And if you do, why not send it in as a response, and we'll show the world your filmmaking capabilities. Well, that's all for this episode. Um, I've no idea what I'll be doing next time, so why don't you just pop in and see what I'm up to. Or you could always, of course, subscribe, because there is a button up there for that very purpose. Well, until next time, this is William Hughes signing off. See you again on the Media Channel.
Nietzsche.